today, I am going to tell you about 10 businesses that you can start with little to no money. Hey there, my loves. Welcome back to CPTV. I'm CP, and this is the place for aspiring and growing entrepreneurs who want to turn their passions into businesses and those businesses into six and seven figure empires. Does that sound like you? Hmm? Well, if so, you found a home, come on in, take a look around, watch some trainings and subscribe because every single Tuesday, and I mean every single one, I am giving you the strategies and the step-by-step -step actionable training for you to implement immediately into your entrepreneurial journey so that you can get to that level of freedom that you deserve and desire as a boss. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notifications and don't miss any of it. And of course, if you like this, then show me all talk and no action makes me a very sad girl. Smash that like button and tell me what business you want to start in 2022 in the comments below. I'm excited to hear. Sometimes, especially right now, you just need to make a little extra cash or some more cash period. You've got bills to pay and the internet has fundamentally changed how we can all make money, not to mention this COVID crap that we all dealing with. So you've decided that you want to start a business, but you need one that doesn't require a bunch of money, a bunch of upfront investors and all that kind of stuff. Yes, good for you. Sounds like you are ready to come on over to my side of the tracks and join this amazing world of entrepreneurship. Well, come on over, boo. Come on. I got room for you over here because there are dozens of businesses that you can start to make cash through a variety of online techniques. You are no longer start forced to start a traditional expensive business in order to make money. I promise I do it every day. It can be intimidating to think about trying to start a business though, especially if you've never done it before. So I'm going to help you. And the options truly are unlimited and trying to sort through all of those options can feel terrifying and confusing. So today I am going to tell you about 10 businesses that you can start with little to no money. Some of these businesses will be more profitable than others. Some will require more work than others. And some of these businesses can definitely turn into seven figure empires for you. But none of them are get rich quick schemes and none of them are fake. These are real sustainable ways to become an entrepreneur in 2022. So let's get to work. Now, business number one, become a virtual assistant. If you have organizational skills, time management skills, and the ability to assist others to get their whole lives together, then being a VA can be for you, especially if you set it up as a viable business. You can offer all kinds of services and task deliveries and email management and all kinds of things that an assistant would do to help somebody, depending upon who your target market is. There's so many different types of industries that need VA help. And a lot of even brick and mortar organizations are turning to virtual assistants to get the support that they need. If you've got administrative skills, if you've got the ability to write, if you understand how to use the office suite like Word and Excel and calendaring and email, and you can actually offer those services as an entrepreneur to someone else, VA is where it is at. Now, when I say a VA, I mean a virtual assistant. You get to work from home, you get to do it remotely, and you get to put all of those skills of organization to the test. Now, oftentimes I get questions from folks that say, how much do VAs make and how much do they charge? 
I know VAs that make well over multiple six figures in their businesses, so much so that they've started to hire other VAs and add them to their team so that they can deliver more products and services to their clients. But initially starting out, you don't need a whole lot of money to start a VA business. Basically, a computer and some skill set, some set up social media accounts, a little bit of setup, and you can be on your way. Set up to-do lists and tasks. You can work with multiple multiple bosses at the same time. But the beautiful thing is, ain't nobody really your boss because you're your own boss and you're working your own hours and you're setting your own deadlines and you are using your skills and expertise to help someone else. There's a lot of folks out there who need help from a virtual assistant. So sit down, think about your skills, think about what you are good at and translate that into would an administrative assistant be able to do these things? And would somebody really be willing to pay for these types of skills? And nine times out of 10, I'm gonna tell you the answer would be yes. So you can absolutely become a VA. Start out being part-time, move it into full-time, but that business, if you're good and you do it right, can grow beyond your wildest dreams and expectations and give you the freedom and flexibility to work from home on your own time and your own dime. Business number two, a virtual bookkeeper. I put this on here, y'all, because I can tell you as an entrepreneur, I need a virtual bookkeeper skills every single day in my business. If you have the ability and you don't necessarily have to have an accounting degree or be a financial guru or think like a CFO, I'm talking about the fact that if you have some financial prowess, you're able to use softwares like QuickBooks and things like that, and you have the ability to balance a checkbook, a bookkeeper is where your skills put you. All a bookkeeper does on a monthly basis is usually help business owners out reconciling their books, literally balancing their checkbooks. You might log into some software or use whatever systems that they're using to actually go in and make sure that you put all of their expenses and income in categories so that then their accountant or CBA, CPA can pull reports out for them to have access to the financials. One of the bi- biggest missing pieces that I see entrepreneurs have in their businesses is the bookkeeping aspect. which really should be taken care of on a monthly basis. And nine times out of 10, it's not because they don't have the skills to do it. It's just that they don't have the time to do it. And you can accumulate multiple clients that you're doing once a month reconciliations for on various days throughout the month, completely do it remotely, completely do it virtually, completely do it from home and charge appropriately. Think about this. If you charge an entrepreneur based on the number of transactions and how large their business is, you know, around $500 a month in order to do their bookkeeping, and you have 20 of those clients, guess how much you're making? Yeah, mm -hmm. do the math. Six figures, boo. You've instantly created a $100,000 plus business where you literally have flexibility every single day. You can make your own schedule. You don't have to get dressed to go in, you know, have a couple of Zoom calls with your clients and you are good to go. So virtual bookkeeping costs almost nothing to start. You might have to enroll in a few courses to understand QuickBooks and to get comfy. You need a computer. You need to be able to understand Excel and maybe some video conferencing software. And you got a business, boo. Business number three, social media manager or digital marketing manager. Do you find yourself being an expert on all things social media? Do you spend hours upon hours scrolling and commenting and liking and understanding the algorithms in IG and Facebook and TikTok? Do you have impeccable video editing skills and know how to do reels and all that other stuff? then you might be a perfect social media manager. It is one of the biggest in-demand jobs that are out there, and it can 100% be built virtually. Again, that means that you are working remotely, working from home, working on your own time and your own dime, 
and all you really need to be able to do is post, create content, and keep your clients happy when it comes to their digital marketing and social media presence. You don't necessarily have to have a degree in social media, but you definitely have to have some skills around it. And if it's something that you're interested in because you enjoy social media already, then enroll in a couple of classes, beef up your skills. Heck, watch a ton of YouTube videos on how to master Instagram and become a social media Instagram expert. It's a great business to start. And social media managers make good, good, good money, depending upon how often they post, depending upon how much they can create as far as graphics and content is concerned. If you take a little bit of time and become an expert and you enjoy that kind of stuff, start a little side business for social media management and grow it into a full-time gig. I got a social media manager. I pay them every single month. They do all the posting and do all that kind of good stuff for me. And I literally feel like I might die without them. It is hugely in demand and easy and cheap to start, which means it's going to be extremely profitable and give you the freedom and the flexibility that you need in order to grow your own thing. Business number four, become an online tutor. You heard me, an online tutor. How many of us experience this during the pandemic? Our kids are at home. They are homeschooling. They are in electronic and digital classes. Heck, my kids are back in school full time and I would absolutely invest in a tutor to help them in certain, pro in certain classes and in certain genres of their work. If you are an online tutor, it means that you literally have an expertise in one particular subject. Maybe you were a math major in college or maybe you're just really, really good in English. Maybe you're an amazing writer and you can work with students and proofread their papers and help them get it together. If you begin Begin to create a tutoring company specifically targeting high school students or middle school students or elementary school students, you can create a completely virtual online business, still work remotely from home, build your own business on your own time and your own dime and give yourself that freedom and flexibility. Think about this. I know so many teachers who are retired or who are just no longer in the field because of frustration and for various reasons. Well, if that's you, it seems like you should be able to start your online tutoring business because you have the ability to teach others, especially kids, how to navigate their way through classes and through courses. It's an amazing business to start. And just like the other ones that I've already mentioned, it is cheap. All you need is some video conferencing software like a Zoom account and a computer and the ability to work with and market kids. And you can start probably in your own neighborhood, just passing out some flyers or going up to the school and letting them know that you're available as a tutor. And you could flood yourself with enough students to make multiple six figures in your business in its first year. I'm just saying, if you're smart in a certain subject, think about that. Becoming an online tutor can be part-time or full-time, but it could be for you. Business number five, copywriting and content management. Whew, let me tell you something about making content. You not only have to be very, very creative, but 95% of the time, you have to be a good writer. You have to literally be able to market and communicate and draw people in and sell with writing. And not everybody is a great writer. If you've got writing skills and you enjoy writing, becoming and starting a copywriting business could be for you. And copywriters make a ton of money. People can contract with you on a regular basis in order for you to create their copy and write for them. Whether it's a blog or a video script or whatever it is, you can use those skills on a regular basis and put them on retainer and really be able to set what your income is. But you can also work with people on specific projects. Like if there's an online business or someone who has an e-commerce business and they need those awesome little descriptions that go underneath the products in order for people to buy, that's you. That's you. Anytime somebody needs written copy in order to be able to move their business and progress it into the next level, 
you got a place to go. So if you're a good writer, think about it. Copywriting, content creation, content management business is where it's at. And again, just like all these other ones that I've mentioned to you, it's virtual, it's remote, it is on your own time, it is on your own dime, you still have the freedom and flexibility, and you can make buku bucks quickly. Business number six, graphic design virtually. Hmm. Yes, to go along with all of these marketing jobs I'm telling you about, if you are creative visually and you can master Canva or some other type of graphic design software, then you can start your very own, very own virtual graphic design business. You can charge people per design. You can put them on retainer and say, I'm going to do your social media graphics for the next month, or you can get a package of 10 graphics and they can reach out to you and ask you for different graphics that they need. People and entrepreneurs need it for their websites. They need it for their social media. They need it for their print. I know I need it for my courses, for my opt-ins, for those downloadables and freebies that you guys get. Actually, speaking of freebies, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the comments below because I actually have a guide to these types of jobs that I'm talking to you about. You can go ahead, click the link and grab it. It's totally free. And it has six particular ones in there with more detail. But again, all 10 of these apply. So make sure that you grab it like how I did that. But anyway, someone who needs visual content, you, Mr. or Ms. Graphic Designer, have a business and it is highly profitable. All you need is a computer, a Canva account, and the ability to market yourself and keep track of orders. And once that happens, you are good to go. I know graphic designers who have virtual businesses who make multiple six figures in their business, so much so that they're growing and hiring other graphic designers to help them with their workload. That can be you. It can start out part-time and it can grow into something very, very lucrative, very, very profitable, and very, very full-time, still giving you the freedom and flexibility to be a boss and do something that you love and are really, really good at. Think about it. Business number seven, business consulting. Ah, this business is near and dear to my heart because this is actually what I do and where my business is started. And my very first business started out as a side gig. I had a skill set for helping nonprofit organizations and entrepreneurs and founders build their businesses and their infrastructure. I helped with things like strategic planning or grant writing or fundraising support or even marketing support because I had skills in all of those areas. It was my intellectual property. That is in essence what a business consultant is selling, the intellectual property. Your ability to go in and help a business owner or a client figure out what their problems are, where their gaps are, and help them come up with the plan, the game plan in order to fix them. Then you can even get paid more if you can implement those plans and not just diagnose the problem. But business consulting is very, very virtual in nature. It's very, very um, competitive and it's very, very profitable as a business because again, what you're really selling is what's already up here in your brain and you don't necessarily have to buy anything to do that. I mean, obviously keeping your learning up and learning more about what you want to do in Target is in there, but a computer, some software to be able to create documents is really all you need to get started aside from like the basic infrastructure stuff. But if you can be a business consultant, you can make boo coo bucks. I've had multiple six-figure and seven-figure businesses just from consulting work. And I would encourage you, if you've got a skill set or an expertise in a very specific area, think about becoming a consultant and starting that business. It'll bring in some extra side income. And I guarantee you, if you do it right, within a year to two, it'll probably be your full-time gig and give you that flexibility and that freedom to do it on your own time and on your own dime. Business number eight, be a freelance customer service representative. Yes, you heard me. There's a lot of organizations, businesses, entrepreneurs out there who need someone to help them manage their customer service. And they are actually looking for people who specialize in customer service. The reason why I say that is because there's a very special skill set that comes along with responding to customers in a timely fashion, being able to craft email messages, being able to 
you know, calm down an upset customer. That's a skill set. And if you've been in customer service your entire career, this may be the business for you. Because in essence, you're just taking that exact same skill set and you're going out there on your own and you're offering your services to other folks who need customer service people virtually. Again, you can do it remotely and work from home. You just need a little bit of software. You need a computer. You may need a really good phone system if customer service for certain people are phone oriented. But you can also only accept clients who do customer service via email and really, really work remotely on the beach somewhere without even having to talk to somebody. Think about the fact that customer service skills is a skill set that you can monetize and that you can sell. It's an amazing business. And if you target your audience and you target who you're going to help and become a customer service person for, building a freelance business around that skill set gives you the freedom and the flexibility and the money that you crave. I know folks who started customer service freelance businesses and have grown them so much so that they've actually hired additional customer service people to work on their team for their clients and customers. So think about it. Cheap to start uses an existing skill set, can start out as a side gig and definitely grow into a full-time business opportunity. So if you know how to service the customer, (laughs) put your business plan in place, boo, and get started in 2022 because it can change the game for you. Business number nine, creative direction for photography. Now, this business is something that I kind of made up, really, um, but It is something that everybody needs. Photos and photography and selfie stations are popping up all over the place. People are doing photo shoots, whether they're entrepreneurs or families or seniors getting their graduation pictures or just individuals who want to put together a special photo shoot for a commemorative birthday. You know, I know I did a special photo shoot when I turned 40, plenty to do one when I turned 50, all of the above. And the one person that every single one of these folks who love to take photos and do photo shoots need is a creative director. The person who has a natural knack for setting up the scene, figuring out the venue, determining the outfits, figuring out the glam, the hair, the makeup, and just overseeing the entire photo shoot. Finding and booking the venue, finding and booking the photographer, and being there to support the person who's going to be in the pictures. I, as an entrepreneur, have to go through photo shoots multiple times throughout the year. And it is something that I put off all the time because the work that goes into doing it drives me nuts, but I'm also not creative in that way. I'm not really sure if this outfit's going to look good or if this venue really projects what I want it to project and let alone being there on site with the shoot and not knowing how to pose and what to do in order to get my pictures across. So I started enlisting the help of folks that I know have creative photography direction. And a lot of people have that skill set. I thought to myself, Girl, you need to monetize that. So definitely putting yourself out there as a creative director specifically for photography can change the game. For the average photo shoot, and this is just CP coming up with business ideas because this is what I do, y'all. For the average photo shoot, if it's a four-hour shoot and the lead-in time, I would say you could probably charge anywhere from two to $4,000 per client. Yes. So think about this. $2,000 per client. I mean, once you get really established and really, really good at it, $2,000 per client, all you need is 10 of them per month in order to be bringing in $20,000. That instantly makes your business a multiple six-figure business and instantly brings into your pocket, if you're only paying yourself 50%, $120,000 a year, and you're able to invest the other $120,000 back into your business. So it is a job and a career that you can do remotely on your own time, still get that freedom and flexibility, and it would probably be really, really profitable to do. So do some investigating if that sounds like you, because I'm interested to see how many of y'all are going to become creative directors for photography and start your own business. Give CP credit when you do, okay? And business number 10, online and virtual event planner. Hmm. Think about that. Now, there's so many face-to-face live 
event planner businesses out there, right? People who come in and plan your birthday party or they plan your retirement party or some of them even focus on corporates and businesses and plan Christmas parties. But over the last two years, we have seen a significant shift to virtual events and online events. And it is a market that is completely brand new. Even as we continue to navigate this pandemic and we come out on the other side, bottom line is organizations are realizing that they have a lot more reach if they do hybrid events or if they just keep them virtual. So most organizations aren't going to go back to -to face-to-face events only. A lot of them are going to continue to incorporate online and virtual events into their strategies. And that means they need people who are experts in helping them organize, maximize participation, maximize engagement, maximize follow-up, up and who specialize in these online virtual events. So think about it. If you know Zoom really, really good and you understand how to break people up and put them in rooms and how to use the polls and how to use the quizzes and how to get engagement and how to get registration, all that stuff virtually, and you're pretty good at that, hone those skills, tweak them, learn a little bit more and build that virtual event planner business. There are so many different industries that you'd be able to tap into from entrepreneurs with small businesses, all the way up to large corporations, all the way up to families who just want to get together and do a virtual family reunion or a virtual movie night. I mean, there's so many opportunities out there for you. And this is an idea that I came up with and I was like, whoa, yes, virtual online event planners. Think about that. Okay. So if you're a face-to-face event, planner, easing into virtual world will also be a great fit for you. Okay. It could be because when you're virtual and you're remote, you are doing it once again on your own time and your own dime. Look, it's crazy right now, but the need to make money and start a side hustle or a business is at an all time high. And we've learned a lot about the need to be online, to be virtual and to be on top of controlling your own destiny. You can be an entrepreneur and you don't need a whole heap of cash in order to get that done. Trust me. Speaking of trust, If you like this, then don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and hit the bell. And until next week, my loves, stay safe. Bye-bye.